and welcome. This is Junior Journalist Vishwanand presenting you the kids news for today. US President Joe Biden and Chinese President Xi Jinping are set to have a virtual summit on November 15th to discuss tensions. Chinese senior diplomat warns US Secretary of State not to send wrong signals to support pro-Taiwan independence. The number of weekly COVID-19 deaths fell by about 4% worldwide and declined in every region except Europe, states report published by WHO. Sudanese armed forces were deployed and bridges were shut ahead of planned anti-coup rallies on Saturday. Pakistan plans to mull proposal to transport wheat from New Delhi as humanitarian aid for the people of Afghanistan. Finance Ministry releases an amount of 8,454 crore as health sector grant for rural and urban local bodies of 19 states, including Andhra Pradesh, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Bihar, and Chhattisgarh. 96 countries have agreed to mutual acceptance of COVID vaccination certificates with India, says Union Health Minister Mansukh Mandavia. Delhi records a minimum temperature of 12 degrees Celsius for the second day in a row. Russia has started delivering the S-400 Trium surface-to-air missile systems to India, says government. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Sunday paid tributes to the country's first Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru on his birth anniversary. As the number of COVID-19 tests conducted in Maharashtra increased post-Diwali, the daily count of cases too increased to 999 on Saturday. At least 26 Maoists gunned down by cops near Maharashtra-Chhattisgarh border. Navi Mumbai Municipal Corporation initiates door-to-door vaccination drive as part of the government's Har Ghar Dastak Abhiyan. Responding to the bad air quality, Delhi government has shut down all schools, colleges and educational institutes for a week. Rohit Sharma named the new Indian captain for the New Zealand T20 International Series. President Ramnath Kovan gave the National Sports Award to 12 sports persons, including Olympics gold medalist Neera Chopra and wrestler Ravi Dahiya. Now for the thought of the day. Either write something worth reading or do something worth writing. This was quoted by Benjamin Franklin. On the occasion of the birth anniversary of the country's first Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru, TV1 India Live wishes our viewers a very happy Children's Day. Thanks for watching TV1 India Live. See you again in the next Kids News Bulletin. Latest updates aur taaja tarin khabron ke liye TV1 India Live ko subscribe kijiye aur notification paane ke liye bell icon ko dabana mat diye.